Yo, hey guys, Kev here. What up? I got two packages here. I'm gonna unbox them in the truck. I'm on lunch. I don't know, just felt like doing it. Hope that's cool with you. I got some blood taken for some labs and shit. So, anyway, let's rip in. We got this one here that I have no clue what it is. Uh, today I'm carrying the beast carrying the evo 2.0 baby uh one of my favorite knives of all time just hard to beat and i haven't carried this in so long and it just feels right so anyway i'm carrying that today uh this just says it's from california i've seen this address i think before uh i just don't recognize it it says return blah 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 and it just has my address, so I don't know what it is, honestly. And then I have a Jack Wolf knife, so that's cool. Sorry, this is very difficult, apparently. Could be something unrelated. Oh, it's a Kubi. That's right, Kubi was gonna send me a knife. That's right, okay. This is the KU314F, guys. Of course, I just put the knife away and then I need it again. Let me just cut this one open while we're here. That's it, okay. just the label, huh? Yeah. Living dangerously there, Benny. Put that back in my pocket, all right. Kube, as my buddy said Stevie would say. This guy, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Who called that, right? Who was like, this boy, he gonna need another knife. See, now I ripped it, nice, easy. Easy tear. All right. So this is whatever I called it. The QB KU314F. Sorry, guys. A little out of it. Um, this guy. I think this is a Manganus design. I mean, it looks like one of those. Manganus. So he did the uh, QB Explorer, right? Is that what it was called? The one that uh, Jared sent me, and I didn't love it. Uh, I just thought it was hideous, so that was my take on it. But it was a good knife. Momentum, I think. This knife, not bad. Uh, one sad thing, I guess, is it's Aus 10A. No, just Aus 10, apologies. I don't know if there's a difference, but you probably can't see that with this front camera, but Aus 10 steel, so not 14C. I felt like they were moving in that direction, but hey, whatever. You got an interesting front flipper. It kind of has a little bit of a swoop into it, but it works really well. I got to say, I, en I enjoy this front of flipper. I'm not going to try the rollback because that'll hurt. Detent's pretty tight because it's, uh, yeah, that's good, man. Pops. Uh, Ergo's, it's a slim knife. It's kind of giving me vibes of like a CMF or something. Um, I wanted Ian's knives, probably just because I've been handling a lot of his knives lately, but um, it's got that very thin handle with that drop point blade. Really nice. I mean, the action on this thing is fantastic. And you're going to have that black G10 reversible clip, the huge. And, uh, oh, a little bit different. You got a nice backspacer here with some ribbing on it. Look at that. That's nice. I like that touch right there. Got the deep carry clip. Goes, man, almost basically past the handle there. Um, but that's cool. Works left-handed or right-handed. Uh, liner lock with great access. Great access to lock bar. This is a good one, guys. This is a nice one. Gotta say... Might not be my aesthetic, but this is a good knife. This is a good knife. I like the Ergos. Um, good, feels good back here. It's got a little tactical to it, right? It's got a little less George to it. I like that. 
feels good like that then you can choke up onto this flat and ride up here and you're good to go it is a flat grind so it's not going to be super thin just because it's not the tallest blade anyway right so uh, got the kubi logo there really cool i like it one last look kubi ku whatever i said 3104 or something like that yeah i like KU314F. <clears throat> Apologies. So, Ben gave me the bad news. Uh, and he told me, he jipped me. He jipped me on the fat carbon. And he had a rotation going, and he freaking jipped me. I'm just kidding. If I like this one, I will get the fat carbon one way or the other. And I'll just sell this one at cost, whatever I pay for the, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. K9 Jiznak. Look at that. Gorgeous. You got some uh, Mad, Mad Max going on here, right? Is that what I'd call it? Mad Maxage? Maybe some Wastelanders? Some, uh, did, did the Last Ranger do this? No, I'm just kidding. It's Sean Tiffany, but could have been. What's that? What's that game I'm thinking of, guys? You know what I'm talking about. Borderlands. Looks kind of like that. Canine Jack, baby. Naf. Then there is a, oh, a new slip? Or a new sticker? Walk and talk. Nice. Look at that. The walk and talk sticker. Another slip I will not use. But if I ever need slips for something, shit, I got plenty of them. I feel like the quality is getting better on these slips. They feel better and better every time, but could just be me too. Sadly, I'll probably never use this microfiber just because I keep all the packaging together. I almost just said, I wish they would send you two, but then you would just keep two in the box. <laughs> so stupid. All right, we got the green canvas micarta. And this one's gonna come in four variations. I don't think I'm bleeding anymore, am I? Ah! Guess I was bleeding a little bit. <laughs> um, it's gonna come in this green canvas micarta. It's gonna come in natural my card i'm pretty sure on that and then a black twill carbon fiber and then fat carbon which i believe is dark matter red so pretty cool setup there um, we are dead centered as usual it's called the canine jack because it's a dog leg pattern and the reason you call it a dog leg pattern because it looks like a dog's leg baby I don't know if you'd hold it this way, which way the dog leg goes. Uh, when I hear dog leg, I think golf, <laughs> but that's the same thing. It's the, the, the course or the hole is shaped like a dog's leg, so they call it a dog leg. Usually it's a little more dramatic than this, but. Oh, Benny, 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 Benny. Oh my God. I'll be, I'll be dead serious with you guys. I did not think I would like the dog leg. Um, just not a big, uh, I guess dog leg guy. Not the biggest spear point guy either. I like spear points, but 
I do find it strange when you have a spear point that has like a bit a bulbous sort of end. Kind of, you know, a little bit of a penis end here. Um, but, yeah, damn it. You get it in hand and it, it, every time with these jack wolves, man. Transitions are flawless. Oh my God. So good. And I'll drop a little bit of oil there, 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 and it'll get even better. Um, you can see those washers in there. Mm, 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 mm. But look at this blade, guys. That is a full hollow grind. Except for that top part right here where that swedge is. Everything else full up to the top hollow grind. Just feels stupid thin. Can't even feel the edge. I don't know if that's because it's not sharp or what. Let me use my receipt here from the lab. Can we take your credit card in case your insurance doesn't cover it? Well, are they going to cover it? In case. Uh, this one's got nothing on it. There it is. Sweet baby Jesus. Yeah. Dude, look at it. it doesn't it look kind of goofy? Now, this is some people's favorite one. Like, I think Casey over at Knives Fast, it's his favorite model, I think he said. And that's because he's handled dog legs. I've never handled one. This feels excellent in the hand. Great size, too. Yeah, I'm dig. I dig, I dig. Aesthetically, I'm still a midnight guy um, or a laid-back guy. But, ooh, man. And those are comfortable as hell, but this... I get it. I get it, Casey. Chief ergonomics officer, I call him. The CEO. Makes perfect sense that he would like this. He also likes spear points because he's a little biatch. I'm just kidding. I love Casey. Man, I can't get enough of this walk and talk. That, that sticker is right, baby. Woo! All right, I got to get Troy spun up. See if I can get a slip for this bad boy. I'm going to have to get a red one, possibly, if there is red leather out there. Because you know I'm going to get that Dark Matter Red version. So, oof, that's sexy, dude. All right, so these drop on August 12th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 p.m. Pacific, I think. Yes. Um, so, keep your eyes out. August 12th, baby. 90% sure I got that date right. Um, I'll, of course, be doing a full review on this to post right around then, which I don't even know. I think my videos are scheduled out past the 10th already, so this one's probably going to go up the 10th, and I'll probably get the review up ASAP. I don't really need much time with it. I am getting a little bit of... Oh, something's in there. Oh, I got a little bit of grinding going on here. Interesting. I'll uh, I'll hit up Ben on that. Doesn't look. It's got like two Mars in the top there. Interesting. All right. Well, good thing I know the guy and his warranty is fantastic, guys. He's gonna take care of whatever. So uh, it's probably just something I gotta just clean out. Maybe there's some kind of uh, burr or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, the uh, Canine Jack, baby. Get excited, August 12th. And then we got the Kubi, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's the uh, KU314F, uh, all right? Shout out to you guys. I love you all, truly and dearly. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Oh, did I shout out said Stevie earlier? And I'm wearing the shirt. Go figure. Love you guys. Have an absolutely fantastic day. I will catch you. Peace.
Later. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick update. Didn't want to leave you hanging after that video uh, because I had that little bit of uh, grit or whatever. So it, it was just dry. It just needed oil. Um, I literally blew some air in there and um, and used alcohol on a swab, cleaned it out, and then I put uh, oil on the tangs of each corner. And she's good to go. I talked to Ben about it as well. He said, yep, all you got to do is put oil on the tangs of the corner, work it in, and it'll be fresh as a daisy. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to make sure you guys saw that because I didn't want anybody freaking out or anything. Uh, I knew it was going to be nothing, and if it would be something, Ben would take care of it anyway. So uh, no big deal. But anyway, I'm loving the uh, canine jack. I almost called it the dog leg jack. The K9 Jack, uh, really, really excited about this one. My full review is going to be coming real quick on this just because I've handled all of them. I know what to expect, and I've carried it today in my Lancelot leather, leather clip slip. I'll be getting a slip from Troy made hopefully soon. Um, and then, of course, we had this Kubi here. I haven't done anything else with this since that unboxing earlier today, so this one will need a little bit of time to get carried and such probably before I do the final video on it. But I do like it. And you know what other knife it reminded me of uh, after I had it for a second? That uh, Grambo knives, the Grambo knives Russ. Kind of gives me vibes of that a little bit too. It's just how my brain works. I compare things. But anyway, quick update there on the K9 Jack. Absolutely in love, guys. The more, well, I'll save it for the review because that video will be posting. You'll see it in about a day anyway. So love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.